Let's look at some very useful time and expense reports. Let's come here under the reports pull down menu and let's come down to time and expense. Once again, anytime you click on one of these reports over here one time, there's a brief description here for you to read about the report. Let's look at the first one, age tickets. This is an important one because it shows unbilled tickets. We don't want to have very many unbilled tickets. We want to get our billings out the door. Let's preview it. And we can see that we have a total here of $267.97 worth of unbilled tickets. We're going to want to go into sales invoicing and bill for these tickets. Let's close this and this brings us back to the reports window. Let's look at the next report, employee time. Let's preview it. This shows all employee time that has been entered into the time and expense system. Let's look at this report, payroll time sheet. Let's preview it. Click OK. Let's scroll down a little ways and look at Alex. Here's his payroll timesheet based on the time he's entered into the time and expense system. Total of 18 hours. There's two more reports we want to look at. Oftentimes, we need to look by customer to see what kind of time has been charged to that customer. We can quickly do that here, ticket listing by customer. Let's preview this report and we can see that by customer we can see what kind of time and expenses have been entered towards that customer. Let's scroll over here. Here's Hensley Park Apartments. We can see we've got parts and some time in there. Notice that my cursor does not change to a magnifying glass on this report. This does not offer drill down capability. The last report we want to look at is tickets by item ID. Sometimes we want to see by what activity item we have tickets in the system for. Let's preview this report. Here we can see we have bookkeeping administrative time in the system, landscaping design, faxing, parking fees, here's sprinkler parts, and here's sprinkler repair time. We find the last two reports we looked at are the most frequent ones that Peachtree users like to use. Ticket listing by customer, and tickets by item ID.